Welcome you all to another video for your emergency medicine boards. Before we begin, wishing you all a happy Easter. Today we are going to look at two questions in this video. Without further delay, let us see the first part. An 84-year-old male is in the department with complaints of vomiting and abdominal pain. His abdomen looks distended. He suffers from diabetes, hypertension and depression. His medications include metformin, venlafaxine, bisoprolol and aspirin. His observations are stable. Owing to his previous abdominal surgeries, you think it could be a bowel obstruction and have initiated the necessary workup. He is kept nilparoral and you have prescribed paracetamol and ondansetron. His AAA screen is negative, so there is no aortic aneurysm. He has no known allergies. He lives alone in an independent bungalow. In general, what question forms a part of data gathering in this age group? Activities of daily living, driving history, history of anticoagulation use, history of cancer, recent admission. You may pause it here and select your answer. Now for the part two of the question. The same patient after a few hours the nurse notices that he is agitated and aggressive. His observations are blood pressure off the roof, tachycardia, saturating OK, capillary refill 3 seconds and a temperature of 41.2. On your examination, he looks flushed and has myoclonus. What is the reason for these symptoms? Bowel perforation, medication non-compliance, neuroleptic malignant syndrome, polypharmacy, or serotonin syndrome. Again, you can take a pause over here and select your choice. Let us look at the explanation now. If I dissect the question, what I see is an elderly male with GI symptoms, bowel obstruction, the question, if you look at it, it says in general. So you don't need to know the whole big question scenario which is given. You just need to know in general what question forms a part of data gathering in this age group. So this age group, uh, particularly let me be specific. Anybody above 65, you need to ask these two important questions. Whether they present with anything, you need to ask these two important questions as a part of data gathering and document them. And that is... Any history of recent falls or have you ever had a fall in the last one year and activities of daily living. These two questions forms the part of geriatric assessment. So these are very essential. So here the answer was activities of daily living. Whether they need help with their cooking, shopping, cleaning themselves, etc. Now for the part two, the patient it becomes a bit agitated with abnormal vital signs and they said he had a myoclonus. Let's look at patient's medications. Here patient is on metformin, venlafaxine, bisoprolol and aspirin. Patient received paracetamol and ondansetron. I have underlined venlafaxine and ondansetron. There is a reason for that. I'll come to it in the next slide. So what's the diagnosis over here? Somebody with serotonin syndrome. So let us look at the triad of serotonin syndrome. It's an altered mental status, abnormal autonomic disturbance like you saw, high blood pressure, tachycardia, low SATs, and myoclonus or hyperreflexia. If the patient is on any antidepressant, it can happen if you start any other antidepressant. A combination of antidepressants can give rise to serotonin syndrome. But there are some common drugs we use in our emergency department. You need to know the antibiotic which we commonly use for MRSA, linezolid, anti-emetic ondansetron, and analgesia, tramadol. So you need to be careful of using these three with a patient who's on an SSRI or SSNRI or MAO inhibitor. Then patients do weird things. They abuse cocaine, amphetamine, LSDs, 
and they are already on some kind of an antidepressant and they can interact and they can present with this triad and uh, what you need to do is you need to do active cooling and passive cooling if it's not working you need to use something called as dantrolene it's usually found in the theaters antidote for serotonin toxicity is cyproheptidine so the right answer over here was serotonin syndrome you need to differentiate it from neuroleptic malignant syndrome serotonin syndrome is a disease of somebody who's uh, suffering from depression whereas neuroleptic malignant syndrome is a disease who's suffering from psychosis if you're liking this series please consider subscribing to the channel and please do like and share this video with your colleagues thank you for watching the video happy studying and peace